Hello everybody! I'm super excited to present today's video. Today's video is going to be super fun. I'm going to be talking all about feng shui and more specifically how feng shui applies to your workplace and desk. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So let's start off with the basics. What is feng shui? Feng shui is deeply tied to the natural world. It's an ancient Chinese practice, and according to the greatest, feng shui is the art of arranging your space to attract and maximize positive energy. Feng shui masters believe there is energy all around us. It's in our home, the grocery store, the office, and this energy is known as qi. Everything in our environment is qi. Even though you can't see the wind, gravity, or Wi-Fi, doesn't mean it's not around you and affecting your inner peace. So think of qi as this invisible Wi-Fi. If done right, feng shui can vastly improve your well-being and your state of health. First off, you want to look at the materials. It's recommended that you pick your desk out of wood, a wood composite, or other natural elements like bamboo. Those are the best. It is not recommended that you use glass as a desk material. All right, so moving on to the position of your desk. How do you orient your desk? So the position of your desk is critical for good feng shui. You want to assume a commanding position with your desk. You should be able to see the door without being directly in line with the door. So you should place it diagonally or adjacent to the door. I'm aware that sometimes this position is impossible to achieve. So if there's no way to put a desk in this position, simply place a small mirror on your desk so that when you're sitting, you can easily see the reflection of the mirror. Now that we have your desk sorted out, how do I feng shui my desk? Feng Shui relies heavily on this tool called the Bagua Map. This tool aligns nine major areas in your life into an essential energy blueprint. We'll be using this to guide your desk. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this map and translate it onto our desk and section it off into different corners. Now, a few extra pointers that I want to point out. It's best to keep your desk organized. However, clutter isn't necessarily a bad thing. Clutter can be a sign of movement and flow as long as the clutter will eventually get moved throughout the day. You should clean your desk or tidy your desk at the end of the workday so you can start anew the next day. Here is my last feng shui tip for all of you. If your desk is in your room, you want to make sure you're covering up that area at the end of the night. Your computer emits a lot of yang energy, which can be harmful for your sleep. So do what I do and put a blanket over your desk. Plus, I find putting a blanket and covering up my computer creates a little bit of separation between my work and personal life. All right, everybody, that is it. That is the end of my video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you are clearing your desk as we speak and organizing it. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.